Hi everyone. This latest video is a little late to uh, press. Two of our kids came up for a visit over the weekend and it was great having them here and it was really good family time. And that meant tools down and uh, a break from the job site. And then when they left, they took Anna with them. And without my better half here, I've been moving uh, even more slowly than usual. Um, but some things happened and I think there's a little meat left on the bone. That is if you like balusters and outhouses. For those of you who have been uh, following along, you'll know that recently uh, Anna and I were in the canoe and the, the bow seat broke. Um, the gunnel came apart a little bit and uh, it's going to make it difficult to paddle in the canoe. So we had a fella come in and give us an estimate on repairs and it kind of shocked us that the repair was very expensive. It was going to be close to $1,000 to replace the gunnels and it was going to take four weeks. So that set us back a little bit and we thought about it and thought, geez, for that money, um, we could probably go out and buy another boat, not as expensive one, but a boat. So we bought a second kayak and a couple of our kids are visiting this weekend. So I wanted to have it for the weekend. So on the way up, driving up, I stopped by the store and bought this one. It looks to be, I sat in, it looks to be a good one. And uh, I know it's not super high end, but it's a, it's a good quality. So I think it'll be good. So we're going to take it off and uh, we'll test it in the water today. Beautiful. Yeah, it is. I think we should smash a bottle of champagne against the side of the, this kayak before you go. You want some help? <laughs> I think I'm okay. Oh, yeah, if you could just hold the nose there. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> So it's the long weekend and we decided to try the new fire pit out and uh, a couple of our kids are up with us this weekend. So my son, he built this fire and there's something wrong with it because it's, uh, <laughs> it's blue, blue and green in the middle. Uh, oh, it's too dark. Can't see you guys. Sorry. I was going to take a picture of you, but it'll have to be just the fire. Anyway, Anna my son made the fire, but Anna introduced the magical powder that she put on it. And uh, this is what it's done to the fire. And later on, she'll be riding her broom around it. No. <laughs> I've decided to tackle the top railing first, the one for the loft, uh, before I got into doing the railing for the stairs. I think the stairs will be a little more complicated. So I'm going to do this one up here um, first and try and get some experience with the balusters and railings, etc. I went to the lumber store today to uh, get the lumber to start the railing for the loft. And uh, I was able to get what I needed for the large parts. But the balusters for the balusters or pickets for the railing, uh, nobody sells them. They sell them in pressure treated wood for outdoors, but they don't sell pine or spruce indoor balusters. One store did, uh, but they didn't have them in stock. So I realized that I was going to have to buy bigger dimensional wood and rip it uh, into the right lengths and widths to make my own balusters. For the loft railing, I'm making the first post or the first support post, and I'm making it out of two by sixes. And here it is here. And uh, the trouble I had was, how am I gonna attach this post 
to the floor outside of toenailing it. So I've decided to put a 2x4 on the bottom and make a strong connection there and then fasten the 2x4 to the floor. In order to do that though, this 2x4 has to be connected to the post really, really strong. I can't use a normal uh, screw, they're prone to break. So I purchased these $1.50 uh, uh, structural screws and I'm sending them up through the 2x4 into the post and they should make for a real strong post. This three quarter inch bit is so I can countersink the large head of the uh, structural screw. I talked to the electrician and he reminded me that when I'm making a post to be sure to leave him a way to get the wires up inside the post. So I've drilled holes up in the bottom here. I need to attach this post to the bottom plate here and really securely. So I'm going to uh, glue it and then put a couple of regular screws into it and then a structural screw. I've got uh, screws holding the rail to the bottom plate, but uh, regular screws just aren't as strong as uh, structural screws or nails. <clears throat> so I'm going to go along now and uh, put some nails uh, through the bottom plate into the rail to make it uh, a lot stronger. I'm starting to join all the components together now and here at the main post I drilled this hole through the bottom rail, through the bottom plate, through the subfloor and into the joist below and that will allow the electrician to send wires up through here and then on this side and this side I'm putting two by twos and that will leave a space up here for wires to come. I was going to put a 2x6 there until I considered the uh, electrician. When we get up to here, this is where the top rail goes. I'll drill a hole through the top rail and the wire can come through there and you can put a switch up here. I've done the same on the other side. Over here, same thing, hole in the bottom, 2x2s up with a space in the middle and that will allow him to put uh, receptacles at about 20 inches off the floor.
I had uh, quite a time finding the balusters I needed for this project. I went to stores. I was looking for pine or another dressed wood that would look clean and nice inside. Most of them didn't have anything, and uh, so they suggested I cut my own. So this is a cottage after all, so I decided that I would um, look at dimensional framing lumber, ask my local store if they'd mind me uh, having close inspection of it and picking what I needed, and they said no problem. So I found all these pieces, and they're all very good shape, um, nice and clean. Now the problem is, dimensional lumber, they stamped them, and uh, there's marks on them, and printing, and a few other marks and blemishes that need to come off. This is a cottage, I could leave them, but I think I'll sand them down, and make them look really good, and we'll put them up. It won't be dressed pine, It'll be dressed dimensional spruce framing lumber. I'll try and fool some of the people some of the time. Uh, another typical project of ours, 90% done, but uh, still needs some more work, the outhouse. Uh, we uh, built this back uh, about 14 months ago and brought it up and put it up and it's really worked well. It's functional, everything's good, but it needs a little roof work and um, it needs a more light. So uh, I think it needs a window. So we're uh, here today because it's a bit of a down day and uh, we're going to try and address the problems. Um, it is a little dark. I thought the uh, screened in vents at the top would let in lots of light but they, they don't let in much. So we need to lighten it up a bit and that's what I'm going to do today. I am so conditioned now. When you're putting in a window, you gotta have blue skin. So we put some blue skin on. Just rolling it out now. So this window already comes with frame on three sides. I'll just uh, frame it out at the top here and uh, then we'll be ready for the screen. Well, there's the frame on anyway.
other than rainproofing it a little more, that's pretty much done. And from the inside, it's going to look like that. The first week in August in Canada is a holiday long weekend. And having our kids up here visiting us this weekend, it wasn't really conducive to being a work weekend. So I wasn't doing a whole lot of work on the cottage, but opportunities did present themselves. Like they'd go into town or they tried out a different beach. And uh, when they did that, I would do some little jobs. And one of them being the outhouse. If uh, this was my outhouse, and I never used this one, if this was my outhouse, I would have complained to the management a long time ago that it's too dark in there. So today we put in this window and now it gets air and light. So you got to keep the tenants happy. And if you're going to call it a royal outhouse, it's got to have all the bells and whistles. Well, today I've decided to tackle the railing to the loft stairs. And so far, I've started to build the post at the bottom. And the main post for the cottage, the parallel post, will be the attachment at the top. Now, I've clamped a long 2x6 that will be the actual rail in place at the height I think it's supposed to be at, which I think is 36 inches. Now, according to the building code, the best I can figure is the height of the rail goes from the top of the rail tangent to the edge of the nosing. And it's supposed to be between 34 and 38 inches. And I've set this rail at 36 inches. And I've walked it. It seems to fit okay. So we're probably going to go with 36 inches. We'll cut the angle for the uh, top of the rail and the bottom of the rail. It's about a 40 degree angle. Well, it's lunch break. <clears throat> when Anna's up here, she insists that we eat healthy and uh, well and I really like that, the salads and the fruit and everything. But I've been alone now about uh, five days up here and it's been pretty much peanut butter and jam and today on stale bread uh, every day. Although I did find some potato salad at the back of the fridge. Um, not very much in there and I'm not sure how old it is, um, but I'm willing to give it a try. Uh, we'll see how that goes probably later tonight. Anyway, peanut butter and jam. I've cut uh, five two by sixes to length. And here they are here. And I'm gonna rip them into balusters. It's time to make 30 more balusters. And all I have to say is thank goodness for Stan, my neighbor's table saw. That was Every cut, I think I'm going to lose a finger. That's how much sawdust 30 balusters make. Already taken a few inside. But if all goes well and I calculated right, that's the end of baluster cutting. So the balusters are finally going up on the stairway. And uh, they are each 45 inches long. And at the top on the rail, I've left three inches here for a hand grip. And there's also a three inch separation. And I'm using this little spacer block to separate them three inches as I go along. It works out that there's two balusters in front of every stair with a three inch space 
between balusters all the way to the top. Good afternoon everyone. Uh, today is a super hot day. The radio says 32 degrees Celsius, but with the humid X feels like 40. And I'm working in the loft today and let me tell you, this loft, it's like a, an easy bake oven and I'm the muffin. It's so hot up here. I've been working with my shirt off most of the day, but I didn't want to shock the nation so I've slipped it back on. I've had heat exhaustion before, so I should know better. I've been drinking a lot, taking breaks, and uh, I've got a fan blowing at me, so that helps. So what am I doing up here on such a hot day? I've got one section of uh, rail to do, this one right here. And to do it, I have to have a post right here, so that I can run a cross piece and all the balusters. In order to put a post here, I really need to put a wall here. So I've started by putting up braces at the top. And now I'm going to build this little wall over here. I've cut the pieces. And when I get this wall assembled, I'll set it in place here. And then hopefully I can move on to building the rail with all the balusters. I've been doing most of the work on these railings in my socks or socks and sandals. Reason being, we want to put a finish, a stain and a finish on these stairs. And I was going up and down the stairs so much, I didn't want to get them all dirty and then have to re-sand them. So, socks, socks and sandals it is. Whew. Since we're making all our uh, railings and guards uh, out of just regular dimensional lumber in our stairs, and we'll be staining them, um, we had to sand down this uh, floor joist here because the balusters are going to be um, attached to it. And we will be staining and finishing those balusters. So... Uh, that floor joist will be part of the, the stain and finishing operation. So it needed to be sanded right down to get rid of all the weathering that happened over the past year. Another hot day up in the loft. I'm working on this uh, guard, this railing um, for the um, landing. It's the last one that requires balusters. So I've got the top plate and the bottom plate on and I'm just going to put on eight balusters on the other side. I've already marked them out where they're going to go. I'll just hang them over. I don't drop them. 
Let's screw them in. 